Hello and welcome to part 19 of my video series on how to use Blender 2.7. In this video I'll be talking about Blender's Bevel tool. Now way back in Blender version 2.49, I used to use the Bevel tool probably more than any other modeling tool. Unfortunately when they rewrote Blender for version 2.5, they left it out and it didn't come back until about Blender 2.68 or so. But luckily it's back, it's better than ever, and I want to show you how to use it in this video. Let's go ahead and click on the splash screen to get rid of it, and I'm just going to zoom in on the default cube to show you what it does and how to use it. So I'm going to press tab to go into edit mode, and I'm going to switch over to edge select mode to start this video off. Let's go ahead and select just one edge, and I'm going to bevel this edge. Now what beveling an edge, or a face, or a vertice means is basically splitting that, and we'll start with edges, well, it'll split that edge, and it'll split it into two, making sort of a diagonal edge where that one edge used to be. So let's go ahead, and where we can find the bevel tool is actually in several places. We can press the W key to bring up the specials menu when we're in edit mode, and then we can select bevel. But as you can see there, the keyboard shortcut for it is control B. I can also find it under the edge menu, which is control E, and again, bevel is right there. I can also find it probably under this mesh menu, in edges, and again, it's right there, but I'll just go ahead and press Control B. When you bevel an edge, it splits it into two, basically creating a new diagonal face instead of that one edge. I kind of call this the picture frame edge. In other words, not just a plain, boring 90 degree edge, it makes a new diagonal face in its place. So if I click, that makes that new beveled edge permanent, but before I do anything else, I can go over here to my tool shelf and I can adjust the bevel's properties right here. I can change the amount of bevel, so in other words I can make it very small or very big. And right below that is the number of segments. Now right now this bevel only has one segment, but if I turn this number up, it increases the number of faces that replace that one edge, and it makes the edge round the farther I go, the number of segments I turn it up to. Now I can leave it like that, I could go higher. In this section here you can only turn this number up to 8, but if I undo and again press Control B to bevel, I can start at one segment, but if I scroll up on my mouse wheel I can get basically unlimited number of segments until it gets very very round. Of course I wouldn't want to go up that high because this is very taxing on your computer and when you render it will slow, slow that down but uh, there it is, I can click and it's permanent. I'm gonna undo that though, because I wanna show you what it looks like on multiple edges that are connected. With those three edges connected, I'll press Control B, and there we go. If I just turn this number down to just one segment, that's what that looks like, it makes a triangle instead of the vertex that was there originally. Okay, so that's beveling edges. If I switch over to face select mode, I can do the exact same thing, but it will bevel the edges that are all the way around this face. So if I press Control B now, again, it remembered the fact that I had turned up the number of segments to a higher number, but if I scroll down on my scroll wheel on my mouse, there we go, that's just one segment there, but again, I can scroll up on my uh, mouse scroll wheel to make it rounded, and there we go. If you bevel a vertice or vertex, it works a little bit different. So I'm going to switch over into vertice select mode and select just one vertice. Now here control B doesn't work. I can try and just won't work. If I press control V to bring up the vertex menu, I can bevel here and you'll see that the keyboard shortcut to bevel a vertice is a little bit different. It's shift control B. So I'm going to go ahead and press shift control B. And you can see that, again, it's giving me lots of segments because it knows that I did that before, but just one segment means it turns a vertice into a triangle. Of course, I can scroll up to turn that up, and I can click when that's what I want it to be, and there you go. If I undo, of course, I can select lots of vertices or all vertices on this cube at the same time, and press shift Control b and this way I can make basically a die. If I scroll down, it'll make it basically a flat-sided die with lots of kind of corners to land on as well. So that's beveling vertices. And that's going to be it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.